So we're joined by David Navarra. David, congratulations. You Thank you, Fiona. Won a nice game against Dennis Wagner. Can you tell us a bit about what happened? Uh, Dennis Wagner is a strong grandmaster and a very solid player. So I wanted to achieve some fighting position and I succeeded in this uh, with my choice of uh, Ante Greenfeld with F3. Uh, a minor problem was that I don't know the resulting positions so well. I mean, I looked at something in my preparation, but uh, I was not sure about the way how I played it. But it seems to me that uh, after Bishop B5, Black uh, should have played Knight D7. I would have transferred my Knight through H3 to E F2 then, but uh, uh, and uh, after A6 I was ready to play Bishop E2, but uh, it's also connected with some loss of time, so the position would be double-edged. And in the game it looked promising for me, but there was still some moment, uh, I mean, when I pushed E5, uh, Black could have taken it and uh, maybe it's uh, better for White, but maybe not. My position is also, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if the position was uh, ripe for such uh, breakthrough, but uh, I, with my move e5, I set a trap, and Dennis fell for it, and his queen was unexpectedly trapped in the center. He needed to give up a uh, piece, and it pawn down with poor development, and uh, the game was more or less decided. I only needed to stay alert in order not to miss anything. Very nice, and let's talk about your, your team going into this uh, uh, today's sixth round. Uh, Novi Bor was on a perfect five out of five, and it looks like the team is doing quite well again today. Yes, uh, I haven't contributed to this result so much actually, but uh, my teammates are playing very well. Uh, I'm also playing relatively well here, <laughs> but uh, Vidit uh, has a great tournament, he has won all his five games. And I don't know what's the evaluation of today's game. It's very sharp, uh, so we will see. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that uh, the team is doing so well. Of course, we still need to uh, continue well because the tournament hasn't finished yet. And uh, if, when, if we win this match, and ho I hope we will, we still need to play one good match uh, in the final round. Of course. I will see about that tomorrow. I think you're being a bit humble because you are on three and a half out of five undefeated. Um, how satisfied are you uh, with, with your play so far? Uh, I'm satisfied with my play. I uh, have been playing uh, well. I mean, better than uh, uh, elsewhere in the last uh, few months because I had some tournaments when I was too tired towards the end and like this and making too many unnecessary, unnecessary mistakes. And so far I have been playing well here. But uh, my opponents are mostly also playing well. Sometimes someone has a uh, worse day. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, those were relatively good games, but uh, I was not so good at creating chances in uh, round four because Johann Sebastian Christians, uh, Christiansen played uh, very solidly and uh, uh, I failed to achieve anything. I was pushing a bit, but it was not enough. And let's talk about something else. Uh, the tournament is coming to an end now. How did you enjoy your time here in Meyerhofen? Uh, I went for a few walks, but mostly in one direction. And uh, I would like to uh, walk in the mountains more, but uh, I, when I had a day off on uh, in round two, I was a bit ill, so it was not the best time for it. And uh, later on, I was playing, so I enjoy it. Uh, I'm enjoying my stay here. It's a beautiful place, really, and I would love to go for a walk to the mountains. Actually, I did a bit, but I mean, one also needs to maintain enough energy for the game so uh, it was a sort of compromise but I actually played uh, very near here in Fugen in 2006 and back then I was playing all the games and I was also ill <laughs> during the event so I mean now it was just maybe one or two days and then it was more or less fine uh, back then it was very similar in this respect but uh, even without a free day. Maybe third time will be a charm. We hope you'll have more time to explore next time. Thank you so much for your time, David, you and uh, good luck for tomorrow. Thank you.